everyone, I'm Dan Jing Han. Today, I'm going to show you how the nation's food security is ensured through agriculture in Malaysia. Come on! Guys, do you know what is crop protection? Why is it so important in agriculture? And how does it relate to the nation's food security in Malaysia? Let me share with you. Crop protection is a method to protect yields from different agents such as pests, weeds, and fungal diseases. Based on the research from Royal Society of Chemistry, up to 40% of the world's food will not exist without crop protection products. Using modern technology, we develop pesticides, herbicides, and insecticides to minimize the impact on non-target organisms and also to ensure the safety on consumers and the environment. Let me show you an example, which is the development of the exotic dropping fungicide. It is used for preventative and creative control for certain common fungal diseases. It travels through the plant roots and travels throughout the plant to suppress fungal growth. Last but not least, crop protection is indeed one of the most important methods in agriculture to ensure the nation's food security. Hi guys, I'm Fuja Chi. Do you know where am I today? I'm at Pasar City Katia, the oldest market in Kelantan. Now, let's follow me. So guys, do you know that economics actually includes the national food security? Economics play a significant role in national food security. Now, let me share with you. Now, let me highlight to you agricultural production. Economic factors such as land availability, technology, infrastructure and investment will influence the level of agricultural production. It will also enhance the productivity and contribute to higher food production. Thus, it will improve food security. Now, let me share with you about ensuring food security in, in terms of income and poverty. Economic conditions, poverty rates, and income levels play a crucial role in determining food security. Economic policies promote income growth, poverty reductions, and social safety nets that contribute to food security. Lastly, climate change and natural resources management are very important to agriculture and food security. Economic conditions are also very important because it is actually addressing climate change and sustainable nature resources management that affects food security. So, in that case, we can see that how food security are being controlled by sustainable land management practices and water conservation technologies, which bring to a long-term food security. Last but not least, the specific economic factors that brings to food security can vary in different countries and regions. Hi everybody, I'm from Kalok. In agriculture, genetic modification is one way to achieve food security in our nation. So, what is genetic modification? Genetic modification, also known as GM technology, is a technology that involves inserting DNA into different organisms. So, how does GM technology affect our food nation security? In Form for Biology, we learn about tissue culture. So by applying this concept, GM technology produces crops with higher yielding and also better resistance to abiotic and biotic diseases. So, according to Palmer Central, GM technology has reduced food insecurity by 20%. This is proven that GM technology helps to stabilize our food supplies against the food demand and also ensures our nation's food security. Consequently, ensuring food security in agriculture can be seen in three ways, that is crop protection, genetic modification, and economics. So now let us work together and achieve food security in Malaysia. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.